welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through a push workout. A push workout consists of some chest, shoulders and triceps. And I don't think I've actually done a combination of all three on this channel. I may have, but anyways, I'm going to do it again. Honestly, this workout is going to leave you sore. It's going to sculpt and tone your body, of course. And I really just hope that you follow this workout along. It will be listed in the description box, so you can just screenshot it, take it to the gym, and work out with me as well. So without further ado, let's get into this video. But before that, give it a thumbs up, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video with your girly. All right, without further ado, let's go into the video. Okay. in the long run you're not going to injure yourself you're not going to cause any problems so the first working set we're going to do is an incline chest press I'm going for 10 kg on each arm that's roughly about 20 pounds I think don't don't like you know just do your own maths but I think that's right so quick tips and tricks when you're performing this exercise you want to retract your shoulders back so you almost want to pin your scalpula together right like this let me show you you want to retract back so what naturally will happen is you'll have a slight arch when you're pushing the weight up you want to squeeze your chest before releasing back down squeeze come back down now before I go into it one thing I want you to bear in mind is this will really help target the top of your chest you will have a slight arch, that's okay. A lot of power lifters have a really predominant arch. Some people like to have their back flat straight on the bench. Either way is fine, do what works for you. The only reason I get an arch is because I really like to retract my shoulders and scapula completely back to get a fuller range of motion and bigger contraction. So let's get into this working set. So essentially it's an incline, we're going to use a bench and we're going to perform just some push-ups right here. Target your chest again using your body weight on an incline, it's going to hurt. Okay, so let's get into this working set, 3 sets, 12 reps, 15 reps, so high volume, let's go.
be hot. Just feels so like here, 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 everywhere. It tingles everywhere in my body and my soul. Okay, so that's like really hard. So I'm gonna give myself, I'd say about a minute, a minute and a half rest, and then we're gonna repeat it again. Give yourself the recovery time you need. It is high volume. It's a lot of reps that we're doing. It's a superset. It's meant to be intense. It's meant to be hard. It's meant to get your your mind, your body, your soul flowing. No, I'm joking. But let me get, have a little rest and then I'll be with you in a minute. I can't even put my words together. I'm actually sore. Woo! So, when I'm gripping onto the bar, what you want to do is you want to have your elbows nice and tucked in try not to put a lot of strain on your wrists try and keep it more upright when you're pushing the weight up bring your head a little bit forward back down push forward But I needed to get the reps up. So if you don't have a spotter, that's a fantastic way to give you that extra bit of boost to get those couple reps finished. Now, as you also see, I don't have any weight added onto the bar. The bar is 20 kg. That's roughly about 38 to 40 pounds. So that's a good amount of weight for me to perform 12 reps. Um, if I'm adding weight on it, I'll definitely need a spotter and the reps definitely need to come down because it would have been way too much. Moving on to the third exercise, I'm going to give you another superset to try. This is a lot of reps guys. I don't think you're actually prepared for how challenging this workout is going to be, but I need you to give it a go. I want you to give it a go. Challenge yourself, push yourself. So what we're going to do is a seated side raise. Now if you don't have this machine, that's fine. Just do a standard dumbbell side raise, but I'm using this machine here. We're going to do 12 reps. Moving on from this, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna be on our knees, grab some light weights. You're gonna extend outwards, combine the weights together, push them back out, back down. So one more time. Lift up, bring together, pull apart, back down. You're gonna work everything with this one movement your chest, your shoulders, absolutely everything. It's gonna be intense, but that's how we like it. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> This is our fourth exercise. 
guys. We're gonna come to the cables. We're gonna do some front raises. Ten front raises. Then ten front raises. Then an inverted grip. Another ten. That's gonna target this bit. Ow. Okay, I lowered the weight. That was just way too freaking difficult. Lower the weight. Put your ego aside, like it doesn't matter what you can lift. You just need to have good form one. I've always said this, I'll always say this. And two, if someone's giving you a workout plan and it tells you to do 12 reps, there's a reason why you need to be getting to those 12 reps. So lower the weight, make sure that you actually get into that rep range with adequate form. That's what it's all about. Safety comes first, always. Then weight comes afterwards. So I lowered it down, I'm gonna stick to 6 kg, and that's working good for me. Anyways guys, I love you always and forever. You know that, I know that. See you next time. Bye.